Hi, and welcome to a gentle introduction to scraping data. My name is Marco Tulipidis, and I am the program manager at the School of Data. We work to empower civil society organizations, journalists, and citizens with the skills they need to use data effectively. What happens when the data you need is scattered across multiple web pages, including social networks or PDF reports? In those cases, you can't really press a download button and get a clean CSV file. You need to scrape it. There are countless stories and insights waiting for you in this massive world of unstructured data. When we talk about scraping in this context, we're really talking about finding patterns in interfaces that were originally designed for human interaction. Take, for example, a news portal. Maybe you want to understand and monitor what kind of stories are being published on a subject you care about, what the media tone is, and which words are being used to talk about different topics. You see headlines, you see pictures, you see the date stories were published, the place editors positioned the story in the page, you see text. But can you really have all this information in a way that's easy to analyze and get insights without having to copy and paste everything to a spreadsheet? Of course you can, and we will show you how. Some will argue that scraping is the most powerful tool any data-driven activist or journalist can have, and you can't really blame them. Understanding how to scrape information out of web pages, social networks, and PDF files will unlock patterns, trends, and information that were not readily available before. For example, what are people tweeting about the migrant crisis? Can you build a timeline with pictures and get insights about how they are documenting their stories? How can you gather information that is available on the web that will support your investigation in a way no other source will? Scraping is very exciting and we hope you will enjoy this course. Shall we start? <laughs>